It's a bit harsh, chucking Naomi out like that. Oh, my... Right, I didn't. She chose to move out. It was her decision. Well, Ethan's not going to be happy knowing that you forced her out like that. I won't be surprised if he took you to court. Don't say that! I'm going on a break. I need to find somewhere to live. Oh, there's no rush. Well, I'm not going to stay there another night, so can I go? Yeah, no, yeah, go. Good luck. You've seen your two faces. No wonder this place is empty. Not really got a lot to smile about. Go and sit in the back, then. Or at least fake it the next time a customer walks in. Oh, my God. What's up with you two? We're just really happy to see you. I've only been in the loo. Oh, Dawn. Right, she's setting up interviews for a local on Friday, OK? You're replacing Paddy? I, I can't cope on my own anymore. I don't blame you, Rona. Why should you be paying someone who's not even there? Says the woman who spends most of her time that side of the bar. Excuse me, I have been doing both our shifts recently so you can spend more time with Eve. Yes, and I'm very grateful. Oh, yeah, you sound it. Uh, is there no other way? I wish there was. But you know what? Maybe this is a good thing. Because if he runs short of cash, then he might come home again. That's a really good point. Hey, look, I've just had a call. Uh, look, someone saw the poster and they think they've seen Paddy down by the canal in Bradford. Yeah. Who's coming with me? You're all still standing around. He could have gone by now. And it won't be him. He might. Even if it is, he doesn't want to see us. Right. So we're all just going to give up on him, then? Maddie, we can't force him to come home. He knows where we are. Yeah, and we know where he is now, in Bradford. But we've got to at least give it a go, because us lot turning up, it might be just what he needs. You go if you want. No one's stopping you. I'll come with you. No, Marlon, no, no, you can't keep doing this, getting your hopes up. You get upset and stressed and then you know what happens. April was worried sick when you had that fall, so was I. Uh, I'm much better now. It made you ill. I have to. One last time. Right, well, I'll go with you as well. Oh, will you? Yeah, and I'm way less likely to scare him off than you lot, so... Paddy. Oh, God, we, we, we've been looking everywhere for you. Where have you been? We've all been so worried. You look terrible. I'm just so happy to see you. I wouldn't. Really need a shower. Um, is Eve back home yet? She's at nursery. Dad's to picking her up. Right. She'll be glad to see you. So, will Leo, he's really missed you. Just needed some space. Oh, uh, it, it's a flying visit. No. So, you back for good? Right, need to freshen up. It's, um, it's very nice to see you all. Unbelievable. Didn't even say what he's been up to, did he? He didn't say much, and I'm not having it. Marlon, don't get worked up. We'll give the key to Naomi, have a quick drink while we wait for the taxi. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, look who's here. Uh, please don't say anything. After the way that you're treating Naomi. No. Um, I've got a number for a cleaner. Sounds like you need one. I'm sorry. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Now your personal servant's been made homeless. You've been sniffing the incense? But he's had Naomi running around after him like she's his mate. Until she decided enough was enough. What are you on about? Hang on, you do realise him and Ethan have been paying her rent for the past three months. <laughs> that don't sound right. What? She told us a different story. Oh, I bet she did. Oh, I'm so bored. <clears throat> you lied to us. You need to pay Ryan and Ethan back every penny you owe them. I can't afford to. Oh, is that because you're out every night? No, it's because I don't get paid much. Excuse me, if that's you fishing for a pay rise, you can forget it. I'm sure you earn enough to pay rent. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to go out. And you can't stop me having a life. We know what it's like to be young. But you need to find a balance if you're going to live with us. You'll still let me move in? We're your family, aren't you? Thank you. Well, it's not fair to leave Ryan out of pocket. Why don't you tell me what she owes you and I'll sort it. Yeah. I'll send you an invoice. And you, you can pay me back by donating some of your time. 
Doing what? Outreach work. There's an event at the village hall tomorrow. Right, well, lucky for you, she's not working. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. It's time you did less partying and more paying it forward. 